appearance after graduating from the University of Pennsylvania. He'll share that role with Jared Connors. And, and you'll also you'll also see a, a little more of Nikai Montgomery running a true offensive shift. Right. At the faceoff dot, Alex Staticus returning home. He played his college lacrosse here at Denver. And then T.D. Yearland played his college lacrosse at just about every Division I school. Uh, well, Denver was one of them. <laughs> I stopped it, right? I'm kidding, T.D. Yeah, Denver, New Albany, and Yale were the three schools where early strike in transition. Staticus and Erlen going to be a big battle. Erlen's one of the top three in the league in terms of face-off percentage, but Staticus is coming home. Such a great face-off man here on this very field. And the rookie's going to give it everything. You guys were right. It was all Coach T. I just talked to Matt DeLuca on the sideline, and he said it blatantly hit off the helmet, but Coach T made that call. Great eyes from Coach T as well, right on the spot. Staticus, he's off to a great start from the face-off dot. Right, that shot, it was deflected. Here comes Nakai, watch the speed, former Duke football player, gets rid of it, scores! Pennell! The Woods respond in 13 seconds to take the 2-1 lead. Total in this game, I think was listed at 22 and a half. Given the poor light quality, I would probably lean on the over. Now, to be fair to the electrician here in this uh, at Barton Stadium, there is fog. Are, are you first started? It was in Vesco. I don't know. It's, yeah. cha it's changed yeah, names. Maybe a different so, sponsor. So, so many times, but they would routinely get twenty to thirty thousand people <laughs> for lacrosse. I think the record's thirty-one thousand for lacrosse and then fireworks. Okay. Right. Uh, Bolin, the owner of the Broncos, owned the Outlaws, and that was the, that was the Denver fireworks show. Courier behind the back. Not only were there 30,000 people in the stadium, as Courier scores a one-touch from Mikey Bame, I think, gets his first uh, career assist. All right. There were 10, 15,000 people outside the stadiums trying to watch the fireworks. Right. That's why I think it, I call it a, a sporting phenomenon when the outlaws were here in the MLL, and they're hoping to bring that back. First pro point for uh, Mikey Bame right there. Presses aside and throws it inside. Yes, sir. Is that right? The lefty from Michigan. Courier was his usual relentless self on that play as well. Took it all by himself behind the back. Didn't work. Turned around. Bame found him. I'll tell you, Bame's a great story. He's got all the records for points and goals and assists at Michigan. He and Josh Sawada raised the profile of that program. NCAA appearance in 2023. Came, went back to the big dance this year in 2024. Kid from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, started playing rec ball at a program named Rocky River Rec. Canadians that came down to play at Denver and still do still get a bunch of great Canadians Here at the University of Denver Barton Stadium T.D. Earlin continuing to be a machine Regardless of score regardless of his team's success or fit Staticus. Staticus is a hoss. You and I saw the weight room here at Denver. We might try and get a workout in between. Guess who was it? Nice pickup by Tevlin. Spirited first quarter for a spirited crowd here. That one deflected, doesn't even. And in transition. And Ryland Reese is a great example of that. Right, face off men mic'd up. That looked like it was originally going to be a Redwoods possession. Goes to the dogs. Kind of was. Yeah. No one arrived. Courier, no one not even close. Face off stats off. I, I, I'm sorry. Chris Kavanaugh drew the third best defender last season when Notre Dame was just so stacked on offense. A guy not on that list, I think that could go in the first round, Chris. Ben Ramsey, short stick defensive midfielder, Notre Dame. He's that good. And of course, the Water Dogs will have an extra second round pick after trading Conrad. 
earlier in the week. And uh, I think, you know, Phil Tierney, outstanding player in the championship series two years ago, the first championship series. Changes the math quickly of a game when you hit on a two. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be a big storyline as we head towards the playoffs. Go to a Dennis go to a PLL now with two point goals. Add another one. This is TD Erlin. That's his fourth of the year. Here comes California. Got a lot of respect for TD. His work ethic, his professionalism, he's gritty, and he'll continue to grind and fight. And you get to see a, a smile right there to soften the blow of this subpar season for a squad. Gets to play with his brother now. The backup goalie is Chase Erland, and that's special for he and his family. And coming back here to DU has got to be a meaningful moment. He wore that ugly number 68 in that one year he played for the Pios. Right, the, whatever's left over. And the one year here at Denver, following stints at Yale and U Albany, where he really exploded on the scene. Look, the guy's like TD. He's got a Yale degree, okay, and then had an extra year to play. What a cool way to come out here to the mountains yeah. on a new team. Like, the guys, because of COVID, who were able to tweener type player. Uh, he's not a short stick defensive midi. And he might not be like an every shift offensive player. But he's got the ability to play in this league if, if allowed to play to a certain role. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And battle. These two who were teammates for one year here at the University of Denver after Erland transferred in. So they would go at it in practice, and they're going at it tonight. Erlen starts the second half with a face-off win. TD had his eligibility tied up that spring for a while when he made that move from Yale to Denver. Vision's huge in this game. Peripheral vision is gigantic. Great players see the field see things happen right? Q, how much of that is vision and how much of it is anticipation knowing your teammates little, i think it's a little of both i think i think it's training yourself over years and years of repetitions all eight philly goals have been assisted goals staticus good to get it to a teammate Richard, the D-Mitty, looking for some help. He's going to find it in the form of Hannah. All-American and pro player. Once in a while, Kark is right. <laughs> Every once in a while. But that, you know, th uh, that was a great example of why it pays to go to practice. Uh, you tell analysts all the time, you get a chance to go to practice, go to practice. You always see something. You always learn something, whether it's a pro level or college level. We see that often. We'll go. Yep. Johns Hopkins played in like 32 but this is going to be huge. It's huge for three reasons in my eyes. Number one, it gets funding. Lacrosse becomes a Olympic sport in so many of these nations, including the U.S. They can apply for funding, government funding. Places like also the slider on that set play. And selling it too, right? Kind of like a pick play in football down at the goal line. Because you don't want to be called for interference yourself. No, as long as his feet are set. The, the Dennis has had a great night. Bertrand with a couple of goals now. I, I might have to throw a flag on that bullet point. So Charlie Bertrand, 45-game goal scoring streak at Virginia. Did he play at Virginia for 45 games? Right. Well, Virginia, remember, they played a lot of post in, in this program. He scored big goals in gigantic games think about this program and the influence of the Canadians yeah. this for Sowers Courier yet another Canadian a couple tonight from Peterborough so that recognition is critical if you're a player what's the defense doing today are they doubling are they sliding fast or are they slow to go Bertrand our time more than 10 years ago 2013 i believe it's hard to believe the late bloomer you, why is that guy successful and still doing it it's it's in his heart man it, like you can just hear it how much he cares yeah it's it's in his heart and in his prep
Big face off here. Last time this game was 7 7. It's the fourth tie of the game, and TD wins it from Stathicus. Back to Pinnell. Post. Enjoy some free lacrosse. Pretty quick turnaround tomorrow. 12 30 local time, 2 30 Eastern time. We will start here in Denver on ABC. And then we got a little break and we come back at it yeah. on ESPN2. By the way, Atlas Archers on ABC. Great 2 30 Eastern. I, I, time. I mean, the skill level in that game. I don't yes. want to oversell it, but it, to me, it could be one of the top games of the regular season. Look at this. These 13 apiece in terms of face-off wins, battling for that all-important 14th win. And it's won by Ooh, Philly, no but look at this. No timeout by Philly because they're out of timeouts. And you can't call timeout. Woods forcing the turnover. Next goal wins it in this game. 